Hello, in this short video episode we will learn how to configure Storm Control on Juniper Network's EX series switches. In our lab setup we have two switches, A and B. Linux host connected to switch A is used as a source of broadcast and no unicast or multicast traffic. In the factory default configuration, Storm Control is enabled on all switch ports, but the default bandwidth level that triggers the protection is high. It's set to 80% of link speed. Without configuration change, our storm will be flooded in the network and affect its performance. Let's verify the default scenario and network behavior in Juno's CLI on both switches. Here we see the default storm configuration on switch A. We begin monitoring the traffic level on both switches. On the Linux host, we start our generator of unknown unicast traffic. In this case, we get 50 megabits of UDP traffic. Monitor on switch A shows the storm is received from the host and flooded to switch B. Monitor on switch B shows the same. Traffic is received and flooded to other ports. Back to the drawing board. To stop the unknown unicast traffic storm, we will configure switch A to disable the offending port if the storm bandwidth exceeds 20 megabits per second. We can manually clear the port disable state, or optionally, we can configure the switch to restore the service after disable timeout expires. Let's start the configuration. Storm is still present. First, we configure the storm control shutdown action. It's a global settings. Next, we configure the maximum rate of storm traffic on a specific interface. Here, it's 20 megabits per second. Once the configuration is committed, we see the storm control is enabled. And a few seconds later, the port is disabled. Let's check the interface status. Storm control is in effect and the interface is down. Storm is stopped. We can clear the port disable state. And initially the interface is up but it's disabled again due to high storm rate. Now we configure the switch to automatically restore the interface operation after 15 seconds. commit and as we can see the port is blocked but it will be enabled in a few seconds now the interface is up but once the switch measures the storm rate it's disabled again and the process repeats. Our lab configuration is very simple. Please visit Juniper website to discover all configuration options. Thank you for your attention.